Now, uh, one thing I want to talk about here is, we'll just measure this. So this one here is, and it's hard to see because my thumb's covering, let's measure in the opposite direction. Grab the measuring tool. So from here to here, my really big cursor, there you go, it's 11 foundations. That's really good. Odd numbers really, really work well in this because 11 means five and five either side of the middle foundation. And having odd numbers really helps here. However, in this case, if I remember correctly, this is 22. So there is no middle foundation. It's going to be a foundation that overlaps between the 11th one somewhere here. We'll get to that. It'll make sense in a bit. So if your shapes are odd numbers, that can make a big difference. And the reason I'm talking about this is when you paste an item, you can open a new save file, download a blueprint, load it into the calculator and go paste. And you can paste it to the original location. You don't actually need a foundation there to paste onto. And that's great. But if you wanted to take this blueprint but use it over on the west coast or anywhere at other locations where there's coal and sulfur you need to have a foundation at the height that you're going to paste onto so knowing where that foundation is going to be in relation to your your the rest of your foundations around it and to have these new foundations be aligned with your existing foundations being able to know and understand where you need to put that key foundation to paste onto is extremely important. And that's what we're going to go into now. The next step we're going to do is I'm going to highlight again and I'm going to select Add Foundation Helpers. And this is something that helps align stuff. And you'll notice when I do it, it asks for a color slot and the color helps you identify which is which. I'm going to select number two. It's a solid color. And it's added this and this and this and this as well, which is doing what I just did. However, when it did it, it would have put these in an odd spot that weren't in the, it would just do it right at the edge of everything. And that's not what I wanted. But all of this is irrelevant. I don't care about these four. I'm going to delete these four. And you go, why? Why did you just do that? You just, you just added them and now you're deleting them. Well, it turns out that it actually added five objects. There is one right here. And you can tell it's that one because if I look at its color slot, it's number two. Now, this one here is at a foundation height of minus 21 meters. Also, this one's at a foundation height of minus 18 meters. What I want to do is I want to have that foundation here, down here. That's what I'm going to paste onto. If I selected all of this now and went copy, that foundation I added with the helpers becomes part of the blueprint. And if I then move this foundation down and paste onto it, I'm actually gonna paste this foundation on top of the foundation I just moved and everything's going to be two meters higher. So earlier when I selected everything and went copy, the calculator has that in its copy buffer right now, in its own clipboard. Then when I highlighted everything out and selected add foundation helpers, it added the helpers, but that hasn't touched what's copied in sitting in the, the buffer right now. I want to put this foundation here, down here, to the spot there where I want to copy the next one to. Okay? And you can see... It is, it will be exactly half on each foundation there. Um, and it's exactly on 
the same foundations as the other ones that are existing. And you can tell that, like, I could look at the foundation position here and look at my, now the X is the left and right, the Y is the up and down. So this number here, 110714, should be the same for this foundation here, 110714. So this is beautiful. This is me talking earlier about I wanted to know that when I paste this wherever it is on the map, if I know the key location of a foundation, then I know where the where I can make it so all of these will be uh, foundation aligned to the rest of my um, uh, foundation setup. Now, what do I need to do then? I want to have, as we said before, um, that, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is nine. Um, but everything we've copied is 11. And I want it to be on the sixth foundation. So let's do this. If I went to, and I'm going to show you some tricks. If I want this to be down here, it will go, it has to move 11. So how do I know how to do 11? I'm going to update foundation position. And I am simply, each foundation is eight meters. Now it says here, negative offset will move X to the west, Y to the north, and Z down. I want to go south. So I want to move the y in a positive axis so i want to add positive eight meters y axis to get to move this so 11 times so one two 11 and submit and there it is we've moved that foundation and now if everything's correct spawn around foundation paste 751 items this is turned off, use materials from your containers because it doesn't work from for blueprints. And gosh darn it, you're about to make another nine setup like this for free. My God, what are you going to do? You just have to learn to live with it. And I'm not going to change any of the offsetting here. I'm just going to go submit. Bang, 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 bang. Now actually... I was one too many more than what I wanted to be. Because remember I said I wanted these ones to be here? So we can undo paste blueprint. I'm going to offset this by eight meters in the other direction. I want to go north. And now spawn around, paste. And perfect. And if you look here, there's actually two foundations here because you can see by the, the double thickness of the color. And I'll show you that in game in a minute. But the beauty now is I could grab this center foundation, which is sort of hard to get to right now, but we'll talk about that later, and just keep moving it down and keep pasting um, the... the uh, the template and we would have more and more and more so let's download this and in, into the game and see if it worked does that look right or does that look right it's that simple folks with a bit of planning let me just double check I want to make sure I think we could be no we're, we're two meters too high I can see I can see because of this here okay it's just because of that foundation helper and how else could I tell that if I bought this here brought this across so sometimes a little bit of trial and error is required but yeah, it's it's just two meters. If we can see that there, it's a it's a perfect two meters. All right, 
that's easy. So what I'll do is we'll go back to the calculator. I'm going to undo paste blueprint and then I'm going to update the foundation position and I am going to the Z down, negative Z down by two meters. So one, two, submit, paste the uh, actual blueprint. All right. Now we'll be good. Take 27. Uh, so this is part of that process of uh, of copying and pasting and using the calculator there's a there's a bit of trial and error and there is a there is a real mindset that you have to learn to deploy or adopt to understanding how a three-dimensional object works from a two-dimensional perspective when you can get your head around that it makes all of this a lot simpler the reason why I can explain it and demonstrate it simply is I've made a lot of mistakes up to this point. But those mistakes have been learning experiences. So now this looks perfect. So now we have two along here. And you can see that I have two foundations inside of each other here, but it's exactly aligned. Everything is perfect. Uh, and I can re keep repeating this process along for as many as I need. Part eight demonstrates how you can paste a blueprint onto your map from a blueprint you have created or downloaded, as it is not the same method in part seven where it already exists in the clipboard. Part nine demonstrates how you can paste a blueprint into the original location. This is different as you are not pasting onto an existing foundation.